Hello there guys, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, I know I got really mad at this game last time, but it's because this game is fucking stupid, okay? Guess what, I'm reloaded from the moment we spawned here, okay, at the start of the mission, because I don't think we can leave the previous save because something is broken there. Um, it should have exited when we got both the things that we needed and it didn't. And I think that's because we didn't talk to the guy up here. Because what this doesn't tell you is, despite what's his face, LaCroix, saying that it's a, a stealth mission, okay, and you're not supposed to be seen or kill anyone, we're meant to talk to this guy, okay? Yo, Pally, over here. We snuck past him last time, oh, so I didn't Pally, know about this. Here. For Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if <sighs> I'm making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. This guy's voice, Jesus, so quiet. Scoops if he's gonna send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear he talks something like this blend really in. quietly. Uh, yeah, so we didn't trigger this last time because it wasn't even remotely fucking obvious. Uh, he didn't look at us, he didn't see us, he didn't trigger the conversation. And I'm pretty sure that's why it broke. So, although, like, I don't know how it's meant to work if you're in Nosferatu, because I think it would still... You'd still be buggered, but who knows? Who knows? So hopefully this will make it work a little bit better anyway. Uh, so tell Jacobson if he plans on making an editor-in-chief, he's going to start working with me. Um, so he's mistaken us for a journalist, is what's happened here. Uh, Jacobson didn't tell me much. Jeez. What kind of Woodstein? Don't think to at least show dressed up... What the hell is a Woodstein? A Coast Guard guy, something. I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Oh, shit! Um, this is the first time we've seen one of the alternative conversation uh, things. Do we want to do that? Do we want to threaten him? Do these always work? That's the, that's the thing. You never know with these whether they're, they always work or not. Let's try it. Let's just do this before one of us has to take a swim. Hint, hint. Take it easy, Flash. This is still a badge you're talking to. Let's get down to business, Barney. All right. <laughs> I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin. But you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you, and no goddamn Flash photography brain. Child. Okay. Okay, that gets us the police report, which is one of the optional things that we didn't have last time. Um. Which is, I think, why it wouldn't let us leave. And I'm fairly sure that this is the only way of getting it. I don't know. Uh, where do I go? Hines to Marsh. Hines to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Okay. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. Okay. As as he leaves, get your ass moving, and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly dally. In and out, okay? The stairs behind me. I mean, there are no stairs don't behind me, but to stay whatever. Out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Yes, I'm getting it all. Thank you very now much. Get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Okay, sir. So do I go down these stairs? Heinz to Jacobson, uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson, <laughs> come in, Anderson. Come check this out, I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah? Is he gonna go? Hello? Yep, it's gone. Right. So we go down here. Oh, shit. And then through here. That's the wrong button. Uh, that one. And then up the stairs. And then there should be... Oh, that's it. There's no guy here. Right. Uh... Right, uh, what do we do? Control, 
Uh, lighthouse. Uh, enter. Uh, deck cams on. Uh, enter. And that should be it. That should be it. Simple as that. I'm just going to check my log. Oh, and take the cargo manifest. Where was the cargo manifest? That was downstairs. Somewhere. Records room. Which is locked. Didn't we get in this last time? There was a key, but the key is outside. Um, can we blood buff it? Yes, we can. Right. That's everything we need to do. So then we just got to get out of here, I guess. Quest log updated. Report back to the prince. Right. Let's make a save. Um, we'll make a save that I can reload from just in case. Um, where's the main panic save? I've been blind. Panic save two, three, four, five. Where's panic save one? Fuck it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cry about it. Uh, save over the panic save, and then I assume we go back to the boat. I still haven't quite figured that bit out. He's still there. Okay, can we go out through through this one? I think we're okay. That all looks good. Do I need to report to you to leave? You waiting for your chauffeur to pull around the dinghy? No. Okay, do we just get in the dinghy? Is there anything to trigger here? No. <sighs> Aha! It worked! What a difference that makes. So there you go. <sighs> Just again, fucking game not really explaining that you're meant to talk to that first cop. You know? I mean, I guess I see the point that it's meant to be a surprise that he mistakes you for this reporter, but still, even the slightest indication would have been nice. Even just an auto trigger as you get there so you can't sneak past him. Um, because that was just really annoying. We spent all that time fucking about on that boat, and we didn't even need to. So, that's done. Now we head back to downtown. Uh, go see Prince LaCroix. Man, see, we didn't, we, didn't need, we didn't even need to go sneak over to the sarcophagus, which is why probably there's so much fucking security there, because the idea is just triggering the cams is enough to actually trigger it. Which we could have still done by... You know, if you're a Nosferatu, even if you don't talk to that guy, as long as you can get into that cam room, kill the guy, and just trigger the cam. Because we didn't know about checking the right-hand computer last time. I still don't know how you're meant to get the police report if you're, if you're a Nosferatu. I don't know. It's a weird game. But at least it's done. We've learned something. I need to find the cab, don't I, which is down here. My pub feels really small. What have I been playing with a big... Oh, I've been playing Pubger. That's why. I was like, why is my FOV so so small? I must have been playing something with a large FOV recently, and I think that's what it is. Fucking poker. Man, I've had some tasty chicken dinners on that recently. <laughs> I fucking love that game. <laughs> uh, right. Hop in. Yes. Uh, sure. Why not? I would like to go to downtown. 
You can raise your humanity by spending experience. What is this madness? I didn't know that. Holy shit. Is it one for one? Let's have a look at that. I was not aware that this was a mechanic. Um, hello. You're new, but you're not talkable, so you're just a random... Uh, let me have a look. Char character sheet. Humanity. Cost 12! <gasps> Motherfucker. I suppose you'd have to if you got really fucking low, but jeez, that is a lot of points. We have six experience, which I'm not going to spend. I think I've learned that the best way to play this game is to not spend them until you need them to pass something, i.e. security, computer, uh, uh, what's the other one? Yeah, security and computer. The lock picking and hacking, basically, are the, are the big ones. Uh, but we should probably get some some social skills. Because that green option was pretty good. And I'm wondering... It must have been intimidation. Which is intelligence and intimidate. None of those are particularly good for those, but we could totally spend points and intimidate. It's not too bad, is it? Hmm. Okay, well let's go talk to LaCroix for now. And see what he's got to say for himself. I also don't know, so if anyone... I don't know who's watching this, but if you are, um, and you know about this game, how at what point do I have to choose between the Annex and LaCroix? Can I continue doing quests for both? Um, or is there a sort of trigger point where they'll be like, whoa, 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 buddy. Pick a side. Because at the moment, I'm happy just doing quests for both. You know? Um, oh, that's... Oh, do I have to... Do I have to check in with fucking Even Phillips Jesus, over here, whatever his name was? Mr. Again? Yes, I am, buddy. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came cool in. Cool beans. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Yeah. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. I wonder if he's... Ah, uh, that's his business. How's it going, Chunk? Ah, uh, you know, I'm <laughs> keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. Sweet. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folk. <laughs> yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Your self-delusion is spectacular. I'm sure we appreciate, appreciate you, Chunk. You're a good boy. That's how you speak to the kind, isn't it? Good boy, Chunk. You're doing, you're doing good, son. <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. All I need to for now. Dudes are here. What is this? Hello. Who are you guys? Presumably they're all Tremere, because that was the Tremere dude. Hey Knuckles, how's it going man? Fuck me, you are so big. Hey LaCroix. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Lots of cops, crazy shit, someone kicked in the crate but didn't take the sarcophagus, bit weird. And the Ankoran sarcophagus. What did you see? Intact, unopened. Oh, handprints indicate it was an open from within. But the crate was definitely broken into from the outside. I mean, you can literally see that. So... Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering molly coddles filing out. Mm. I mean... <sighs> Was there an antediluvian in there, LaCroix? That's what I want to know. Because I don't trust you one bit, son. Um, yeah, what was all that about? Those were the primogen. Oh, shit. City's clan elders. A worrisome bunch it wasn't just the Tremere's. To the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone... 
Could be either, to be fair. Very poetic, sir. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Okay. Certainly. Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. Yep. I've had many jobs that involve sucking up to people dumber than me. Thank you, sir. Now about Grout. Yes. <laughs> about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric. To I'd the imagine they are. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed oh in the place God. Head into a Malkavian haven. That just sounds like a fucking bad idea. Full stop. Um. Oh fuck it! I'll go right away. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Until then. Oh. And to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby, Oh, sweet. In the Skyline Apartment Building. A Skyline Apartment Building. I hope building. Skyline Apartment Unit 4. Was that not the building with the lift shaft? Maybe we should go check that out. I don't want to leave here straight away for Hollywood. I want to, I want to check out that weird door that we found. Um, that we still haven't been in. Still don't know about the awakened thing. I'm wondering if that's like something where you specifically. I wonder if it means awakened in the sense of magic, like Tremere shit. It just seems weird that the Tremere would have a chantry and then right down the street, some guy asking me if, you, if I'm awakened. Um, Skyline Apartments. Who can remember where the Skyline Apartments are? So can we use this map? No. Can we use this map? Yes. Uh, Sky and Apartments number two, and we are currently there. So, if we go back, take a right, then a left, we should end up there. Down here. Some more hazmat guys. I wonder if we can get in there. I wonder if we can actually climb in. Um. Okay, we'll go to the skyline. We'll see what this fucking haven is that he's given us. Now I thought it was here. Oh, there it is. Skyline. Oh, and I looked up just because I thought it was, I was I was confused about the Lucky Star apartments, and they're not downtown or um, Santa Monica. They're in Hollywood, so we'll probably be doing that when we get there. Um. Okay. Number four. Let's see what's up here. Our own fucking apartment. We've made it, boys. Or girls. Or whatever you want to be in between there. There we go. Have we been in here before? We probably have already broken into here, I guess. But yeah. Yeah, we would have already broken into here. Bit of red on the floor there. Bit weird. Someone's put some shit in our bin. Door automatically shuts to the bathroom. That's a bit weird. A chest! We can put shit in there or we can take bullets. Okay. Oh, fish! Okay, can't break it. That was worth a look. Revealed as the Ankaran sarcophagus. Discovered at a dig in Turkey, the sarcophagus was on its way to the Los Angeles Museum of Natural History for a detailed analysis and exhibition. Authorities are expected to release the sarcophagus to the museum in the next few days. Okay. They're giving a the sarcophagus to the museum. Lock Santa Monica tonight, sending several fireballs into the sky and prompting a lockdown of the warehouse district where the explosions took place. Early reports suggest that the warehouse destroyed in the Can't pick any of this shit up. Can we go on the computer? And that the source of the detonation uh, possibly came from the email. explosive being stored at the site. Authorities say it is still too early to speculate on whether there is some How do I not know my own password? They have not ruled out the possibility. 
Stay tuned to Channel 3 for further updates. A uh, recent outbreak... What is my password? ...diseases in downtown Los Angeles... Hell... ...CDC officials concern Los Angeles... Uh, uh, virus. ...local hospitals started seeing a dramatic you. increase in the amount of patients with severe respiratory illness... This. ...and many doctors say they may be ill-equipped to handle... Um, I'm going to have to buff myself and hack my own emails because I don't know what my fucking password is. Caution. And to seek medical treatment immediately if they exhibit symptoms that include fever, How do I... cough, nausea, there we go. rashes or sores, painful discharges, or sudden sustained... Does anyone remember what my password is? Nope. I'm gonna have to... Oh, blood buff doesn't affect it though, does it? The body of Sean Milton, a former convict that was recently released for good behavior, was found nope. Similarly to the Fuck. other victims of the serial killer... What is my password? ...the connection between Milton's prison past and the slasher... We'll have, a full report on the <sighs> we'll have to go back to Santa Monica where it's written on the table and check it from there, I guess. What a stupid fucking system. I'm just making sure there's nothing secret up here, which there, there totally isn't. Okay, fine. Maybe we should go and check our actual emails then before we go anywhere else. Uh... Oh, in fact, I could just spend the points in hacking, because we're going to need hacking anyway, aren't we? I was saying about the fucking XP. Let's just do it, since they were going to need hacking for various things in the future. Um, if we can't hack number four, then that's probably pretty bad. What is hacking? Computer and wits. It's cheaper to get one for computer. What does wits apply to? Defense and hacking. Interesting. So putting in wits, we have enough. And that would increase our defense and our hacking. Why do we have five defense? We've only got four, I don't know. Should I increase our wits? I've done it. I've fucking done it. Right. Uh, email. Hack. Hack our own email. It's sunrise. There we go. Okay. Which are the new ones? Number five. A favor. From LaCroix. Fuck off. It has come to our attention that a sample of werewolf blood has made it into the hands of the local tabloid. God, this is really hard to read because of the spacing. And that they have sent it on to the clinic in Santa Monica for testing. The responsible party has been dealt with most painfully, I can assure you. But for obvious reasons, we can't have anyone testing the blood. Please receive the blood sample from the clinic and leave it in your mailbox. You will be compensated accordingly. Okay, next. Uh, stop by my apartment when you get a chance. I'll set you up. Okay. Don't touch the butter. Uh, don't touch the butter. The new extreme sport that's sweeping the nation is now on a limited edition DVD. Watch superstars Iron Will McMahon, Brock Dry Hans Hines, and Marjorie Mike Davenport as they use every bit of restraint in their body to not touch the butter. One bowl of butter, two contestants, three judges, and a hell of a lot of willpower. To order, log on to www.donttouchthebutter.vtm. Wonder if that's a real website. <laughs> I doubt it. Um, okay, fine. We hacked our own emails. Uh, okay, jeez. So he wants me to do something in Santa Monica. Fuck that for a game of trousers. Do we want to do that? Do we really want to go there and do that shit? What else do we have to do? Go see Mercurio. Okay, let's do both of those then. Let's go to Santa Monica. We'll call in and see Mercurio. And then we'll call the episode. And next episode we'll sneak into the clinic and find the werewolf blood. Uh, and then eventually we'll head to Hollywood and check out the Lucky Star Apartments. Look for Muddy Murdoch or whatever his fucking name was. Um, and the Malkavian guy. Grout. He is Grout. Uh, taxi cab. Taxi cab was this way. 
Oh, we haven't finished everything here, though. I want to go look in that weird door. Let's go look in the weird door. That's going to be the first thing that we do. Do kind of need to feed as well at some point. Hello? There you go, son. You didn't have much blood in you, did you? Oh, you ass bandit. You bitch! You give me AIDS! Oh my god! You... What the fuck? I thought we dealt with the plague. Shit! That's not good. Am I actually diseased now? Is this a door that we can go through? No. No. Okay. God damn it! Oh, that is so annoying. I've got to stop eating bums. They're fucking dirty. <sighs> okay, fine. Do you reckon we can get away with... Let's make a save. Because this always goes fucking wrong. Let's see if we can get away with eating one of these ladies. Hey, baby. Looking for a date? Yes. Mm. Let's go somewhere more intimate. Okay. You lead the way. Yes. Okay, let's go. Um, let's go down this alleyway. What the fuck? What? Why does this never work? Every fucking time. God damn it. Do we... Maybe we have to lead us somewhere... Hold on. Let me stand in this alleyway again. Do we have to go some... Does it... Let me try this other alleyway. Where we fed on the bum. About here in the shadows. No, that's no good. Do the only ways like trigger a non a non masquerade area, is that a thing? Oh look, yeah. Just eat you then, son. He's got plenty of blood in him, this guy, look at this. Brilliant. Okay, that worked out way better than I intended. Man, we'll get businessmen next time. Okay, right. Uh, secret door. I know we're overrunning for time, but I really want to know what's in that fucking door. I just want to see if we're going to enter this place. I don't think we can. We still haven't found what's in that building either, if that's even a building we can get in. And there's got to be a way to climb into... Oh. Hello. Oh. Have we done that before? Weird. Okay, never mind. I just, I, I don't know why, I just feel like there's something... Why is it such a big building with such obvious vehicles in if we can't... If we can't go in there. Um. Okay. This is where I want to be. Is that a doorway? Yeah, I can get in through there. Right, save game. A lot of saving going on today. But that's the way it is. Okay. Squeeze in. And I've opened the door. Here we go. What's in the door? Is it going to be death? Okay. Help me. It's got them. It's, it's coming for me now. It's coming for me. What's coming for you? Uh, look how it's right behind you. What's coming? My crew. My 
crew, we, we were we were here shooting for my show. I'm a parapsychologist. Okay. I'm in LA. Oh, oh God, it was right behind me. We've got to get out of here. What's behind you? I'll level with you. We, we, we usually fake these things, you know, ghosts. And no shit. Bullshit. We were sitting up downstairs and weird shit started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I don't know what's happening. Okay, I'll go see if I can find them. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. Well, that was a lot weirder than I expected. That's locked. Okay. Man, okay, this was not what I expected at all. How bizarre. Um, we'll go check it out then. I'm guessing it's probably related to the serial killer, I think. Um, but we'll find out next episode. I'm going to make my final save point of the day. The next episode we'll explore this place and see see what's in here, what's killed his crew. Um, but for now I'll leave it there and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.